Alien abduction may be more prevalent than you might think. Did you ever wake up with a bruise on your body knowing it wasn't there when you went to sleep? This unexplained phenomenon can leave you feeling unsettled. A harmless bump in the night is a possibility, easily dismissed. However, the lingering uncertainty can spark a question. Could this be a sign of something more extraordinary, something beyond our usual explanations? It's not just the bruises themselves that are unsettling, but the fact that they seem to appear out of nowhere without any apparent cause or explanation. Some people say their bruises are a sign of alien abduction and represent a physical manifestation of the extraterrestrial's presence. How else would they have gotten there? Perhaps putting your arm out the car window? Rough playing in the bedroom? Wrestling with a friend? I don't know. This photo was recently posted on X. Above the photo, it says, woke up with this on my arm a couple days ago. My wife did too, in exact same spot. Neither of us had an explanation. On July 4th, 2020, I posted this photo on Facebook with the caption, did you ever wake up with a bruise that wasn't there the night before and have no idea how it happened? That happened to me last night. The following were included in the comments on my personal Facebook page under this photo. Carol said, woke up with one in almost the same place as you yesterday. I was wondering where it came from. Lydia commented, this was not on my left arm last night. And Nicole said, I have one in the same spot. Woke up with it yesterday. On the N5D Telegram page, I posted the above picture and received the following comments. Franca said, I woke up with the same bruise on my right thigh a couple days ago. For the life of me, I couldn't remember banging into anything. And Angela added, left thigh for me. And Donna said, happens to me often. I usually put it down to being naturally klutzy, but sometimes I'm truly baffled. So without any further ado, let's jump into the 16 signs you may have been abducted by extraterrestrials. Number one, unexplained missing time. You've experienced periods of missing time where you can't account for several hours or days. For example, you wake up one morning with a sense of disorientation. You try to recall the events of the previous night, but your memory is unclear. You vaguely remember going out with friends to celebrate a birthday, but the details are hazy. My late sister Lola had an abduction scenario where she was with her boyfriend David and another friend Patty. They were driving toward East Sydney Dam when the next thing they knew their car was on the side of the road and it was four hours later. No one has any recollection of what happened during those four hours. Number two, unusual physical sensations. You've experienced unusual physical sensations such as numbness, tingling, or itching in a specific area of your body. For example, numbness in your fingers and toes or itching on your arms or legs. You've also noticed that your skin feels slightly sensitive to touch. At first you dismissed it as a minor issue, but the sensations have persisted and you're starting to feel concerned. You can't shake the feeling that something unusual happened to you, but you can't quite put your finger on what it was. Number three, unexplained marks or bruises. You found unexplained marks or bruises or cuts on your body that you can't explain. For example, you woke up one morning to find a strange unexplained bruise on your left arm. You have no recollection of how it got there and there's no apparent explanation for the mark. You've been experiencing similar unexplained marks and bruises on your body over the past few weeks and you're starting to feel concerned. As you examine the bruises more closely, you notice that they seem to be in specific patterns, almost like a code. You're not sure what to make of it, but you're starting to feel like something unusual is going on. Number four, 
unusual dreams or visions. You've experienced vivid, unsettling dreams or visions that feel more real than your waking life. For example, in these dreams, you're floating above the earth, watching the world below you. The dreams are so vivid that you wake up feeling disoriented and uneasy. You can't shake the feeling that something or someone is trying to communicate with you, but you're not sure what, who, or why. Number five, feelings of being watched. You feel as though you are being watched by an invisible force, but you cannot reasonably explain why you feel this way. For example, you can't shake the feeling that someone or something is observing you. You've looked around your home, checked your surroundings, but there's no one there. You've tried to brush it off as paranoia, but the feeling persists. As you go about your daily routine, you catch yourself glancing over your shoulder, feeling like you're being watched. You're starting to wonder if there's something more to this feeling than just your imagination. Number six, seeing a UFO awake or in your dreams. For example, you've been driving home from work when you notice a strange glowing object hovering in the sky. At first, you think it's just a plane or a helicopter, but as you get closer, you realize it's something entirely different. The object is shaped like a saucer, but with a bright pulsing light emanating from it. You're shocked yet amazed, wondering if you're seeing things. As the days go by, you start to notice strange occurrences happening around you. You start to feel like you're being watched and you can't shake the feeling that something is trying to communicate with you. Oh no! In a world where fashion was stuck in the past, came the N5D quantum tie-dye t-shirts, revolutionizing the way we think about fashion. Gone are the days of boring, bland fashion. Introducing the N5D Quantum Tie-Dye T-Shirts, where every shirt is a work of higher dimensional art. Say goodbye to the same old, same old, and hello to the most epic, most legendary, most quantum tie-dye t-shirts in the universe. In 5D quantum tie-dye t-shirts where fashion meets quantum coolness. Number seven, unexplained medical issues. You may have experienced rashes, a sudden illness, sinus problem, fatigues or migraines when beforehand, these never seem to occur. For example, you've developed a sudden rash on your arms and legs, which your doctor can't explain. You've also been experiencing frequent sinus infections, which seems to come out of nowhere. On top of that, you've been feeling extremely fatigued, even after getting a full night's sleep. And to top it all off, you've been experiencing debilitating migraines that leave you feeling like you're going to pass out. You've tried to brush it off as stress or a virus, but the symptoms persist. You've seen multiple doctors and they can't find anything wrong with you. You're starting to feel like you're going crazy and you're desperate for answers. Number eight, unusual sleep patterns. You've experienced unusual sleep patterns like insomnia, vivid dreams, or strange sleep paralysis. For example, You've been having trouble falling asleep and when you do, you wake up feeling groggy and disoriented. You've been experiencing vivid dreams that feel more real than your waking life. And sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night feeling like you're paralyzed, unable to move or speak. Number nine, mysterious memories. You've experienced strange unexplained memories or flashbacks that you can't explain. For example, you've been having flashbacks to places and events that you've never experienced before. You've seen images of strange landscapes, alien-like creatures, and futuristic technology that you can't explain. 
You've started to wonder if these memories are real or just a product of your imagination. You've tried to talk to friends and family about it, but they just think you're crazy. You're starting to feel like you're losing your mind. Number 10. Unusual nightmares. You've experienced vivid, unsettling nightmares that feel more real than your waking life, as we mentioned before. For example, in your dreams you're being chased by strange alien-like creatures or you're floating in space surrounded by stars and planets. The dreams feel so real that you wake up feeling disoriented and uneasy. Number 11. You suspect you've been implanted. There's a growing feeling that an extraterrestrial implanted you with some sort of monitoring device. For example, you can't quite put your finger on it, but you feel like you're being monitored or tracked. You started to notice strange sensations in your body, like a buzzing or tingling in or under your skin. You've also been experiencing vivid dreams and nightmares that feel more real than your waking life. And this is a recurring occurrence. Number 12, unexpected end to pregnancy. You experience a pregnancy that ends within a few months. There is no available information on the reason for the end or your medical status afterwards. For example, you were thrilled to discover you were pregnant, but your excitement was short-lived. After a few months, your pregnancy suddenly ended without warning. You were left feeling confused and concerned with no clear explanation for the sudden termination. Your doctor was unable to provide any information on the reason for the end of your pregnancy or your medical status afterwards. Number 13, new metaphysical abilities. Unexplained flashes of intuition or premonition have recently begun to occur. You've been experiencing a strange sense of heightened awareness, almost like a psychic awakening. For example, You've been getting sudden, vivid visions of events that have yet to occur, and you've been feeling a heightened sense of awareness that's hard to explain. You've also been experiencing strange, unexplained physical sensations like tingling in your crown chakra, or in your fingers and toes, or a buzzing in your head. Number 14, dreams of being able to fly. This is one of my favorite dreams. The experience of recurring dreams characterized by the ability to fly frequently taking place over recognizable environments. For example, you've been having recurring dreams that leave you feeling exhilarated and disoriented. In these dreams, you're able to fly effortlessly, soaring above recognizable environments like your hometown or favorite vacation spot. The sensation of weightlessness and freedom is exhilarating, but the dreams also leave you feeling uneasy and disoriented. Now, this is interesting about these dreams of being able to fly. In real life, I'm petrified. I am afraid of heights. But in these dreams where I can fly, there's no fear whatsoever. It's as if I've been doing it all my life and you can swoop down, arch your back, and go back up. There's no fear whatsoever. Have you guys experienced that? Number 15, large-eyed dreams. Recurrent dream reports involve encounters with various wildlife species like deer, elk, moose, owl, wolf, or coyote. Notably, the dream focuses specifically on the animal's eyes, described as being unusually large. For example, you're surrounded by familiar wildlife like deer, elk, and wolves. But what's striking is the focus on the animal's eyes, which seem unusually large and piercing. You notice that the eyes of the animals in your dreams are always the first thing you notice, and they seem to be staring directly at you. Number 16, unusual anxiety. Reports of nighttime awakenings accompanied by unexplained panic or anxiety are frequent. For example, you wake up feeling disoriented and uneasy with a sense of dread that's hard to shake. 
you try to calm down and go back to sleep, but the anxiety persists. You start to feel like you're living in a state of constant fear and unease. Now, we've all heard of alien probing, but really, what is it? Being probed by an alien is often a topic that uses humor to discount and de-escalate the occurrences of this phenomenon. When people joke about being probed, they're trying to make the idea of alien life seem less scary or overwhelming. By using humor, they're able to poke fun at the idea and make it seem less likely or less threatening. This can help people feel more comfortable about this topic and can even help to ease any anxiety or fear that might come with thinking about the possibility of alien life. Are the greys the ones who are taking us? There are many possible reasons why the greys might need to experiment on humans to preserve their species. For example, they might be facing a crisis of infertility or degenerative disease that is threatening their survival. And they believe that human DNA and reproductive technology could hold the key to their salvation. Alternatively, they might be engaged in a long-term plan to assimilate humanity into their own society and they see experimentations as a necessary step in that process. According to legend, President Dwight D. Eisenhower made a secret treaty with the Greys in the 1950s, allowing them to abduct a certain number of humans for medical experiments in exchange for advanced technology. According to his granddaughter, Laura Eisenhower, the treaties had to do with bartering, exchanges of planetary goods, natural resources, elements, and compounds in exchange for things like abduction. They, the Greys, need our DNA, said Eisenhower as she continued. We have a treasure of DNA that's basically a living library. William Cooper, a former naval intelligence briefer, claimed access to classified documents in the 1970s that were detailed in a secret treaty with extraterrestrials. President Eisenhower met with the aliens and a formal treaty between the alien nation and the United States of America was signed. The treaty stated, the aliens would not interfere in our affairs and we would not interfere in theirs. We were particularly interested that they do not interfere with anything that would affect our future, which has been violated. We would keep their presence on Earth a secret. They would furnish us with advanced technology and would help us in our technological development. They would not make any treaty with any other Earth nation. They could abduct humans on a limited and periodic basis for the purpose of medical examination and monitoring of our development with the stipulation that the humans would not be harmed, would be returned to their point of abduction, that the humans would have no memory of the event, and that the alien nation would furnish MJ-12 with a list of all human contacts and abductees on a regularly scheduled basis. And this is not being done. By 1955, it became obvious that the aliens had deceived Eisenhower and had broken the treaty. It was suspected that the aliens were not submitting a complete list of human contacts and abductees to MJ-12, and it was suspected that not all abductees had been returned, and this has been verified. It was learned that the aliens had been and were then manipulating masses of people through secret societies, witchcraft, magic, the occult, and religion. Cooper contended that the aliens violated the treaty. By 1955, he believed they had deceived President Eisenhower and conducted unauthorized abductions exceeding the agreed-upon scope. As above, so below. Think about how trafficking works on our own planet in regard to Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Maxwell was arrested and sentenced to 20 years in prison for you know what. This really isn't any different than the Greys abducting humans for their own benefit. Unexplained bruises can be unsettling, leaving many to search for answers. Theories about these marks range from the entirely ordinary to the extraordinary with some attributing them to alien encounters. Despite these speculations, the cause of unexplained bruises often remains a mystery. Have you experienced any of these 16 signs of being abducted by aliens?
If so, please leave a comment below. Until the next time, I'm Greg from N5D.com sending you all... What? What? what what's happening? Look, Captain Zignap, they're still here. Yes, Lieutenant Grrrr. We've taken note of every one of them, and we will return to probe them all. <laughs>